Question number 14 also deals with averages. So let's take a look of this example again. If you take three tests and you got 80, 72, and 91 on these tests, to find the average, you have to add up 80 plus 72 plus 91. You got 243. And then you would divide by how many tests that you take, you took, right? Which is 3. 243 divided by 3, it's 81. So we can say that the average of these three tests is 81. To find average, we first need to add up all the scores and then divide by how many tests that we took. Okay? So question number 14 actually asks us uh, average, but again, it asks, it asks us uh, average in a slightly different way. So we have to pay attention right here. So a total of 50 juniors and seniors, they were given a math test. The 35 juniors attained an average score of 80, while the 15 seniors attained an average of 70. So what was the average score for all 50 students who took the test? So what we need to do is we need to find out the sum of the scores. So let's do it with the, um, with the juniors first. So we have 35 juniors and they got an average of 80. So that means the sum of I would say the juniors scores. So if you take a look of all the 35 tests from these juniors and then add them up, that's what I mean by the sum of juniors scores, juniors is, uh, test scores. If you take that, divide by 35, divide by how many tests, how many people took the test, you will get 80 because that's the average. So again, I want to figure out what's the sum of the junior's test scores. We can just multiply both sides by 35. Multiply both sides by 35. They cancel out. So the sum of the junior's test scores is 80 times 35. So we can do that real quick on the side, 80 times 35. 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times um, 8 is 40, and then 3 times that is 0, 3 times that is 24. So 0, 0, um, 8, and 2. So 28, 0, 0. Okay? So get used to, you know, use the, cal use, use the scratch paper, do this kind of calculation again. Right? I, think th I don't think the test will allow you to use the calculator, so it's good to practice these basic skills. Anyways, so we took care of the juniors. Now let's take a look of the seniors. There are 15 seniors. They got an average of 70. So, if we do the same, uh, same procedure, the sum of the seniors scores. So if you look at all the 15 tests from these seniors, if you add up all the scores, that's what I mean, the sum of the seniors scores seniors scores and if you divide by 15 you will get the average 70 so this means the sum of the seniors scores is equal to well to solve this again I can just multiply both sides by 15 Okay, 15 cancel. That's how we can get this. So 70 times 15. Again, uh, I just want to show, you know, do this to show you guys that I'm actually doing some calculations. Okay, I don't use a calculator for this. So 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 7 is 35. 1 times 0 is one, uh, 0. 1 times 7 is 7. And add 0, 5, that's 10. 10, 50. So these are the two things that we are going to need. Okay, so finally, 
we are going to find um, the average of the find the average of the um, 50 students scores so all the 50 students all the 50 students including seniors and including juniors okay so what we need to do first is we need to calculate the sum of I will just say everybody right everyone's everybody scores so I want to take a look of all the 50 exams and then add all the scores and then divide by the total number of students, which is 50. Unfortunately, I don't have all the 50 tests, right? So that's why we need to use this. We know the sum of the junior's test scores was 2800. And then the sum of the senior's test scores was 1050. So the sum of everybody's score, it will be just 2800 plus 1050. So the average, let me write that down, the average is equal to that. So the top, I will have to do, again, 2800 plus uh, 1050. Divide by total of 50 students. So uh, this is, on the top, I get 3850. So 2800 plus 1050, you get 3850. Divide by 50. Okay, so this means, uh, so let me do this on the side. This means 3850 divided by 50. So again, I'm going to work out the calculation. I'm going to use long division. 3850 is the first number, so it goes inside. 3850. And the 50 is the second number, it goes on the outside. So, 50 does not go into 38. Let's look at 50 and 285. Um, 50 goes into 385 seven times. Seven times 50, we get 350. Subtract, we get 35 left. And then bring down the zero right here. 50 goes into 350 seven times. 7 times 50, 250. When you subtract, you get 0. Alright, so the average is 77. When you find out sum of everybody's test scores, which we have to add the sum of the juniors and the seniors, we have to add this up. We have to add this up. And then divide by total of 50 students, we get 77. So if you take a look of the answer choices, that's choice D.